Hi again, welcome back. So this time we'll be using StatCrunch to help us get a confidence interval for a proportion. Okay, so one way you can usually tell it's a proportion is uh, they'll give you uh, the total number in the sample and usually how many people were in favor of something or they'll call it the successes. Okay, so one thing you'll notice is there's no mean, there's no standard deviation, no population standard deviation, any of that. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go into stat, proportion stats, one sample with summary. Okay, now the number of observations is going to be the total sample size. So in this case, I got 2267. And number of successes they give us, which is nice, 742. Okay. And we want a confidence interval. In this case, we want 95%. So make sure you check confidence interval, convert 95% to a decimal, and then click on compute. This stuff you can leave alone. Don't worry about that. <coughs> and here we go. Here is the lower limit and the upper limit. Okay. Now, there's another scenario which you might get which uh, they don't give you the number of successes. Let me pull up that problem. Okay, so in this case, they give you p hat instead of the number of successes. So <clears throat> what we'll need to do is we'll need to calculate the number of successes. So for this one, my samples observations would be 400. And it's kind of small, but here we have regions, and each one of these has a p hat. Okay, so my first region that we're talking about is south, and it says here south has a p hat of 31%. So we'll need to calculate that. So all we'll do is we'll do n times p hat. And that is the number of successes. Yeah, again, we want to check to make sure that uh, double check on the confidence interval. Okay, 95%. Change it to a decimal. Click on compute. And again, there is the lower limit and the upper limit. Oops, there we go. Upper limit. <clears throat> yeah, and that's all there is to it. Okay. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for my next video.